Hey, this is Rob Michaels, and you are watching the Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. In this episode 169, and we are going to take a quick break from uh, Deadpool, and I'm sure he's very upset that he's not on an episode that has the number 69 in it. Uh, but uh, I got to take a break to talk about some cool stuff that I saw on Instagram and something that someone sent me. So this is going to be mainly just looking at some artwork of Venom, and then a little update on the first host, which is something we've been following for a while now, uh, kind of speculating and theorizing what it's going to be about. And of course, my theory was wrong. I was thinking it was going to pick up after after the Mike Costa run and that it would start like around July or August. I was right about that. It looks like Venom First Host is going to come out in August and here is the cover and this was sent to me by uh, Il Nova on, on Instagram. So big shout out to Il Nova. I'm going to put a link to their uh, Instagram uh, account down below so make sure you follow them out. Uh, obviously if anyone brings any news to me that I didn't already hear, I like to credit you guys. Uh, but there's also an article about this. It's a CBR exclusive comic book resources. So I'll put a link to their article down below. Although it doesn't share anything new, it still gives the synopsis that we saw on uh, on Amazon like a week or so ago, but it looks like uh, they finally just got confirmation. I'm guessing because more fans started talking about this and saw the link on Amazon because of Bleeding Cool, like, you know, Marvel was like, all right, we got to announce this eventually. And then plus solicitations are coming up for August. So they're just like, yeah, let's start talking about it now. So we are going to get another Venom series, but this may just be a mini series for all I know, uh, because the first trade collects five issues. So this could just be a five issue mini series, uh, but it is called Venom First Host. The cover looks great. Mark Bagley is drawing it. Mike Cost is coming back, and they're going to basically tell the origin of uh, of uh, the first host of Venom. So I guess the host or the Venom suit, uh, which we might find out sooner or later. Maybe that's not its name. Uh, obviously, that's the name Eddie Brock decided to give it when they merged together. Uh, but uh, but we are going to find a lot more about their their past. So this book is going to be pretty essential to shaping like a new origin story for the character of Venom. Um, so if you're out there and you're like, hey, I'm new to comics and there's a lot of stuff on Venom I haven't caught up on, this could be a good jumping on point. Like the new book that's out right now by Donnie Cates, that's a good place to start. And then you could, you know, easily jump into this and then always go back and get back issues later if you want to learn more. Uh, but it seems like they're going to go full force and, and, and just try to add a lot to the continuity of Venom. And they're going to go back and show that the Clintar race have actually visited Earth before during the days of Beowulf. And uh, and then, you know, some of them even stuck around for a little while. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm interested. Again, I want to see just how exactly the suit is on Earth, like in the 60s or 70s or whenever Rex had it, and then goes up to Battleworld, you know, being banished by the Clintar race. And, you know, maybe it screws up a mission on Earth. And maybe that's the real reason it got banished. And then it got sent to Clintar to answer for its crimes and then gets sent over. That's an easy way to explain it for sure. Uh, but we don't know for sure until the book comes out, until this comes out. And then Donnie Cates' run, you know, continues. So we're going to follow that. We're going to review all those books when they come out. But also this, every issue that comes out, I will definitely be reviewing first host for you guys. So there you go. Enjoy the artwork. It's pretty awesome. And go to CBR and check out the article that they have about it if you missed our first video about it. And the last thing I want to talk about is I, I real quickly before we get into it, I want to thank everyone who went to Grey Matter Artwork and bought those Venom 30th Anniversary prints. If any of you guys did, let me know down in the comments below uh, if you picked one up because uh, that was really awesome. They sold out in one day and that was really cool. They did a great job promoting it. The artwork by Andy was amazing. So uh, if any of you got it, you know, got a chance to get one of those prints before they sold out, I'm so glad because they're beautiful looking and they're going to look really great on your wall for sure. Um, and then as far as uh, new artwork too, I saw... Uh, poster posse the poster posse on instagram i'm going to put a link to their account down below and their website they did some fun artwork for venom for his 30th anniversary last thursday a week ago from today for his birthday for his official 30th birthday on may 10th uh, so that was pretty cool uh, and they i don't think any of this is for sale as far as i know it's not i don't know if it was licensed by marvel or not or if they're you know or i haven't done a lot of research into the poster posse but i saw a lot of great artwork on their instagram account and their website so i wanted to show it to you guys so hopefully some of the images are popping up here of what 
what a couple of them will look like. And if you want to see the rest, definitely go to the link down below and check them out. Uh, and if any of you guys have, you know, find any cool fan art or anything like that, you can feel free to tag me on Instagram or post it on our uh, on our page on Facebook. Uh, that's totally cool. And put a link if you can of where you got it from so we can credit those people accordingly. Uh, but I don't get to do a ton of these videos where we focus on the art and talk about, you know, some great fan art out there. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I try, you know, I do my best. There's a lot of Venom stuff out there right now, especially with the movie. I mean, we have another Venom comic with First Host. We have the monthly comic by Donny Cates. Uh, there's so much going on with Venom. It's it's sometimes it's hard to keep up, but you know that's why I do a full time show about them just so I can do my best. So thank you guys as always. Check out that all work. Go to links below and everyone out there who supported Gray Matter. Thank you for doing that. So go support uh, Poster Posse as well. If there's any way to buy those prints, let me know because I couldn't find any uh, way to buy them. And not that I have any money right now anyway, but I'm gonna keep an eye on their site and hopefully they'll sell prints uh, down the road. And then uh, obviously you know let me know what you think of First Host and that freaking cover. It's freaking awesome by Mark Bagley uh, and. And I'll say friggin' one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching my show. And then we will come back in the next episode and wrap up Deadpool week with uh, Deadpool back in black and a little brief mention of the secret secret wars. So make sure you tune in for that. Thanks so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.